All right, hi everyone. Here we are at uh, Embedded World. I have next to me Mauro from, uh, from Matworks. Hi Mauro. Hi Daniel, nice to have you here. Uh, we are here at the uh, Matworks uh, um, booth. Uh, NXP is presenting at Matworks booth and we thought of making a video to celebrate actually our collaboration and to bring awareness on, on how we collaborate together and how we work. Yes. And uh, Mauro, why, why don't we just go on and explain, we, we're going to show the motor control yes. uh, use case with NXP kit and how we do it with, uh, with MATLAB and Simulink. Yes. Mauro, you got the floor. Yeah, thank you Daniel. Uh, yes, here we are uh, showing uh, two applications actually. One is for battery management and the other one is for motor control. And basically what we show here is that it's not very complex to get started with this application. And we have uh, a few steps that you can follow in order to develop uh, uh, such a motor control. So uh, the first thing that we suggest is to make a model of your uh, motor. In this case, we are having a BLC um, model. And it's just a block that you can grab from the motor control block set and uh, with a few tests you can parameterize it. So once that uh, you are happy with the, with the model that you have in Simulink, you can simulate it and understand a little bit how the motor, the motor behaves. And next you can uh, start developing algorithms. And also for that we have examples with the classic uh, motor control algorithms such as the field oriented control. And again you can attach it in the Simulink canvas to the model and make a closed loop simulation. And once that you are happy with the performances, basically here it's where uh, NXP comes into the picture with the model based design toolbox. NXP provides all the I.O. to interface the controller uh, with the, the peripherals of the hardware. And so here uh, we are we have in the Simulink model all uh, the drivers that allow us to connect the processor with the actual actuator of the motor. And in this way, basically, we can uh, generate code, flash it on the hardware, and get our motor spinning. Not only that, I also, uh, Daniel, made a small other Simulink model to monitor our application. So here what I have is some dashboard blocks from uh, the Simulink, the base Simulink, and with this we can start and stop our motor, we can set the reference speed, for example, here I can get my model spinning and then, for example, we can increase the uh, set reference for the speed and see how our motor is able to track uh, this reference. And uh, yeah, so in this way you can also monitor your uh, application in the real world and really yeah, get started in a few, in a few hours. All right, thank you, Mara. So, to to summarize, right, it's very, very simple and very, very fast to, to start up a motor control application on NXP kit if you use MATLAB and Simulink. And if we look, why is it like that, right? So first step, you can build your, you can build your application very fast. You can use motor control block set. That's yes. the toolbox that, that, uh, that can be used. Once you build the application, you can quickly simulate it. Make sure you can make, make the most out of uh, MATLAB and Simulink capabilities of simulation and you can go and check and make sure that the application really works the way, the way you desire. And then it's very quick and very fast. You can deploy it on the target. All you have to do, use our motor control toolbox, which abstracts completely the, the hardware. You don't need to read all the specs from NXP. You have the blocks there. You just build it. You replace your input and your output basically with the blocks we provide. And then you have the application ready to go on the target. And then deployment on the target is just a click of a button. In the end, you can use this beautiful visualizing uh, canvas, right, with, with the controls. You can build also with the MATLAB and Simulink uh, tools to actually create a little, let's say, real time, real time in human time, not, not in processor time, real time uh, monitor of the, of the application. So one can check the, the values of the model, one can start and stop it, and maybe look at the values and, and, and speed. So all these things can be done very, very fast, putting together all these solutions and, and reliable. And this is the application we, shown, we have shown these days. Yes, and we also have a, a battery management system. I think you should talk with Maris. We'll, 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 we'll talk next, like a teaser, a spoiler. We're going to talk next about, uh, about this one with, with Marius. But maybe let's say one more thing. Uh, Mauro here has done a lot of webinars. And, and if, you, if we got your interest with, with this and you want to... Um, 
you want to see a little bit more, there is a way to actually, all right, don't worry. There is a way to actually see uh, and learn more about, about this. There is a webinar on our community and I'll let the links, you, you, can, you can see actually the links and, and go and check this, right? So Mauro has explained with Marius and Irina yes. and other, uh, other people in, in our team how, how to get this done. All right, we have fun here. We continue yes, to show yes. it to customers. Thank you all for watching and um, yeah. stay close. We're going to show. And thank you, Daniel, for visiting us. Yeah. It's, it's very good to, to work together, right? Isn't it great? Yeah. All right, bye bye. Bye. Have fun. <laughs>